Well, good morning, folks. It is a hot, humid morning. And the reason is, is because we're given 70% chance of thunderstorms and showers this afternoon. So I'm after it this morning. I'm going to get us a video in right here. And I get a lot of questions and comments. Well, Richard, why don't you use curly tail jigs? You know, curly tail jigs is what I started off fishing, that and a how fly, if y'all were familiar with a how fly. And um, I picked these up at Walmart. This is called the Triple Tip, made by Cream Value Pack right here. It was $1.47 for these jigs right here, and there's 25 in it. And they're approximately, they don't say, but they're about two inches long. Pearl. Now, I've used these before, and they're great jigs. Uh, let's go crappie fishing, and then afterwards, let's talk crappie. The real crappie discussion. Okay, let's talk about this jig right here just a little bit, uh, and how I rig them. Uh, this is on an ultimate jig head. Okay, but I've put my own weed guard. This is a 40 pound test weed guard, single strand piece of monofilament, four pound Mr. Crappie. And here's my cream bait right here. Now on the uh, curly tail folks, I always rig mine up where the, the curl part is up like that. Now a lot of fishermen, they do right opposite, but either way it work. But that's my preferred way. I think I get more action in the water. Let's look at the action right here. Can y'all see that? A lot of action there on that tail. I hope y'all can see it. It's a little bit overcast. Now these docks is set up in about nine feet of water right here. And uh, already I'm seeing a few shad. So I'm pretty sure there's some crappie on them. Shad is the main thing to look for. There we go. There's the first one right there. It's a little black crappie. He ain't very big, but I said we broke the ice pretty quick right there that fish was about well, about three foot under the surface so fishing high for them uh, when you're skipping these docks is the best way in my opinion crappie or up feeders let's see if we can catch another one right here it was a thump no doubt about it now let me say this right here this dock is at uh, nine foot of water okay let's let that crappie go what I've done is I've found them this to work just about every time okay I mean nine foot of water this is a 132nd ounce jig folks when I make that cast or skip I'm, this jig falls about a foot a second. So right now I'm at four and a half foot of water, four foot. And I'm reeling it at a constant pace. Therefore, I'm keeping the jig slightly above the crappie. See, crappie are up feeders. You just get a feel for this kind of stuff right here when you, when you fish this way. But fishing high just a little bit and get you the strikes they're not very deep at all they're about halfway or a little more see one two three four okay i'm about halfway in the water column under that dock i'm reeling it back at a constant speed that keeps my depth pretty consistent and i just miss one <laughs> 
But that's what you got to do is find out how deep they are. That's why I say that crappie fishing is easy. It really is. Once you find the depth that those crappie are, you can catch them. Let's catch another one. There we go. That's a big crappie right here. Starting to rain. We're going to get us some good rain and cool us off right here. It's a good one. Come on in here. What a crappie. That's a quit. Well... Folks, that's in here's mean. Look how far he got that jig. Now he wanted that, no doubt. It's a heavy fish. Good one. That's what we want. Yep, it's fixing the rain. We don't care. I'm not a fair weather fisherman now. I don't care about the rain or the sleet or the snow or anything like that. It don't matter. But, uh, hey, let's let him go. Back in there. Look at him. There he goes. Good fish. That fish, uh, even though it started raining right here, uh, was actually a little bit deeper of course, I'm fishing a different dock right here. I think today I'm just going to move around and fish. I'm going to go on down the river. And we'll fish uh, several docks down through there and see what's going on. But this dock is uh, set up in about seven feet of water. And we're going to see if we can't catch another one. That was a good fish. Finding the depth. That's all you got to do. It don't matter if you're fishing docks, vertical jigging, or if you planted you a treetop to attract crappie. It don't make any difference. Depth is the key. <laughs> I try to make just as less noise as I possibly can. Prop wash is a problem with docks. That fish was right there. Let's come back through there again. There's his buddy. See how that worked? And it's a good one, too. It's a good one. Let's flip him on in here. He's hooked good. When I see them hooked right here on, at the roof of the mouth, I know they're hooked good then. That's a decent fish, no doubt. Fat, eating shad. Eating the heck out of shad. Let's let it go. That's two fish out of that one spot. Could they be our another one? Well, let's see. That's what I thought. It's a good one right here. Golly. Where's my net? Where is my net? Where is my net? Look here what a slab. I want to explain that right there. Got to explain that because that's really important. Golly day. Let me get my net. That's a big crop in here. Especially for this time of year. Come here. Good gracious. Now, folks, look here what a fish. Check him out. That's a big crappie. Now, what is happening right here on the outside edge of this dock here? I knew the fish were set up there. 
there's no doubt in my mind about it. I caught two pretty quick. Then I run the jig through there about six or seven times and I couldn't get a strike. So the eighth time that I run that jig through there, I rub the post and it triggered that bite right there, the biggest crappie that's probably going to be caught today. That's a big crappie. Um, I don't know, 13 and a half inches long probably. Heavy. Now that was worth it. So now I know because of the way the day is to catch any more I'm probably just going to do that right off the bat on each and every post. I'll dissect these dogs now. And uh, that will cause me to catch more fish. The depth, they're about four foot deep. They're about halfway. Okay, let's catch another one. Real simple, nothing to it, but it does take, you've got to think. At all times, you got to have that, that wheel turning. There's a little thunder. Let's let him go. I'm going to revive him just a little bit, or her. Had her out of the water a little bit too long, probably. Let's see. Now, uh-uh. There she goes. Okay. <laughs> woo! 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 I tell y'all what, folks. I'm just going to cut this trip a little bit short because we're supposed to get some thunderstorms this evening. I was heading down the river to fish some more docks that I know that's holding crappie. Uh, but uh, I'm just not going to chance it, so I'm going to cut it short. i got to head back that way towards all that cloud cover right there to get to the ramp, and it's a pretty good piece uh, up the river. But uh, the main point of this video is, you know, uh, back in the day, we used to have to fish with what we had to fish with. And uh, crappie fishing, it's just like bass fishing. There's a lot of fads involved in it. And I'll follow the fads, you know, different types of baits, popular baits. But this is just a Walmart special. It's a cream. It's a good jig. Curly tail jig. There's a lot of them on the market. I mean, it's a perfect size, about two inches long. Pearl. Pearl will catch fish year round. If that's the only color you had, that would work, and that's a fact, uh, for the most part. Real simple. Keep your fishing real simple is one thing that I do, but there's a lot of baits on the market that you'll see hanging up. They're not popular popular baits, but they're just as good as the name brand, okay, or what's popular in your area. Y'all know what I mean. Try them out, and you'll, you'll find one that'll even outfish the name brand many times so thank y'all for watching listening to my opinions 